Yeah, well, Cherie, the rain is coming down really hard out here this evening. Let me show you what happens on the roadways here. Uh, in a lot of areas, you're going to have ponding for one reason or another, like we have here. But in this case, it happens to be because of a drainage issue up above on the interstate. This is where 71 crosses over. And there's a lot of water. It gives you some idea of how much water is draining off of these roadways and what kind of problem, if there's any kind of an issue. And if we hit a downpour, it's even worse. On roads like this part of Mitchell Avenue, surfs up and so is the slipping. You're just, you're in it one second, you're driving on regular roads and the right. next. And then you're sliding around. All over the region, raindrops are pooling their resources into puddles. It doesn't take much for the ripple effect. Does it seem like when it starts raining, people get a little more crazy? Yes, instead of safer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Road crews are on the lookout for standing water, creating standing problems. With rain saturating the area all day, downpours can add up fast on the roads, making driving tricky quickly. And sometimes people start fishtailing. Runoff can run onto roads too. The Metropolitan Sewer District is watching trouble spots and with the potential for high winds ahead, Duke crews are on standby, but they can only do so much until the winds get below 35 miles an hour. If we start seeing outages and the winds are up, we'll need to wait till the winds come down a bit before it's safe to get out there and certainly start doing the intensive restoration work that might be necessary. As those waiting on the worst of the weather are only hoping we don't get into trouble too deep. Yeah, just be aware, there is a lot of water that accumulates very quickly, especially when it's raining really hard like this. And that concern with ice, any of this that's on the road when this turns over uh, to a colder temperature, it's cold enough to freeze. It's going to be that real slippery kind of ice, so be aware. Reporting live, Brain Hamrick, WLWT News 5.